Hey, I'm Max, and today I want to present you my CM3340 VCO. I have some PCBs here. So I did print like two VCOs on one PCB. Yes, and here are some of them broken out. They look like this. Very beautiful. Mm. And so I want to tell you something a little bit about it. Like I have this idea from look my more computer because he used it. And here we have my VCO bank, like one, two, three, four. And yes, it's a mess, but we will sort this a little bit. So, so to start, uh, at first I built this one. Okay, I built this one. You probably can't see anything because it's a mess. Yes, I know. And I put all the cables, they are all directly soldered onto it. But you can see there is the CM3340 to, um, to uh, amplifiers, some, some um, trimmers and the power jack. But everything is soldered onto it like yeah, you probably see it all the inputs on the left and the outputs on the right so and some controls so that was my actually my first design that I built but then I thought hmm, maybe do it a little bit smaller I didn't want to use like this big uh, board so I did build it a little bit smaller and I thought about yeah let's put the inputs and the outputs that uh, try and use some headers there so I used six headers here for the inputs and five for the output because uh, uh, no seven I think it's seven but I'm not sure so because it's like we have one ground and then outputs and here also the ground and the inputs and there are no chips in it okay I didn't test this so put it aside this was my second design and then I thought like mm, there are so many like let's 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 get a PCB because then I could also build like later I can build uh, some some more so I designed this PCB and I thought about it like I have the chips like like in this but then I thought like the, the design I have the schematic right here I have that right here so because all the resistors are um, are upwards or downwards so I thought like hmm, let's get some resistor banks there here and here and the capacitors here so the trimmers here and a 5 volt regulator this is later so it's like a little bit complicated with the traces but I thought this looks nice so let's do it so then I built myself one here and when I when I tested it it turned out like that the second op amp didn't have power so I uh, had to add this later so I did this and on the second one also so but here you can see I took like from the first one I took like this um, this, this banks but no I didn't have the resistor banks there but like the op amps and this all in a row but then I took from the second one I took the headers because I think like headers are nice then you can plug unplug it and plug it so that's nice and the capacitors yeah so <coughs> here's my second one you you see this it's missing one capacitor and the regulator I have it right here but I have not time for to doing it so um, like I thought here let's get the original schematic Okay, so this is my schematic, and here I have the original schematic. It's a little bit broken, so uh, you may see it. I will put it. So you can see I have the resistors and the resistors down here. Some capacitors. Okay, then I test. I tried this thing out, and I saw like mm, why uh, everything was working fine, 
but the square wave. It wasn't working. So I thought, hmm, what could it be? And then I saw down here, uh, here's the output and there's the input. So we have a PBM, PWM control input. So you need an input here. So I had nothing there. So it was zero volts. Yeah, obviously. And then I put like this, um, then I looked and I, s uh, I read like the, the, the PWM s signal is from zero to five volts. Five volt is 100%, zero is zero percent. So I knew why I wasn't getting any signal because there was zero volts. So I thought, hmm, how could I change this? Put an input? No, I hadn't any other modules yet. So I thought, okay, I need to do something. Then I thought like, oh, get a five volt regulator. So I have five volts and use a potentiometer as a voltage divider. So I used it, I did it and it worked. So I added this here with the five volt regulator. You can see it there, right there. And here's the PWM input. And I, God. Uh, I, I later thought like, hmm, get for the input, get a Eurorack input and use like the five volt, but five volts. But then I thought like, hmm, nobody's using five volts. So you have to use this five volt regulator. So, and and I actually didn't use the schematics from Lupin on the computer because he just had like the 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 the, the, uh, the, the, the sawtooth and the triangle outputs and I wanted to use like a square and a sign. So the this thing CM3330 or I use the AS3340 don't has a uh, doesn't have a uh, sign output so I used the the triangle and put like a small passive filter behind it with a trimmer so I could make a crude sine wave. So then I used it and put everything here and then this thing. But uh, yeah, and this. So uh, I have this one. This is working perfectly, but this one is having some troubles. But that's no problem. I will change it later. So I now have here my my board. So I have like on the front. I have this big pitch knob, this is for the pitch, I need to cut them down and put like these little knobs on it, but I didn't do this. So here we have the PWM sig signal, this is the voltage divider, and for the sync I have a, a switch, I have a switch for like hard and soft sync, I don't know exactly which is what, but that's nah. Okay, so I have as an input I have PWM, I have volt per octave, I have FM and the sync. Output I saw, sine, triangle, and square. And I think I have them in this order on these pins from ground to top. So, like here, I have sawtooth, sine, triangle, and square, and here these things. So, you see, this one is ugly as hell, but here I did it a little bit better and I can connect it. So, I will just connect it. So right now I have nothing installed in my rig, just my power supply right here, a VCF that is not working, a mixer, and the what is this? The safety valve from look on the computer. So I will just install myself the VCO. Get it. So I need to fix I, I need to put them like on screws on the back this thing So, now I have this thing, I will just have to plug it into my little power bus here. Uh, so, let's plug it in. So, okay, now I can turn this thing on and take a listen. Well, 
Okay, everything is fine. So let's see if we're getting a signal out of this. Let's plug it in and into the box. So now I can now I can just use like the FM modulation on this thing with uh, square on the other one. Like this or like maybe use the square look you see like when I'm here it's like at 100% but it sadly doesn't go to zero so now I could use like the the triangle and put it into the FM like this or maybe put it into the FM or maybe listen to the triangle Maybe the sign. Oh, fuck, this is the PWM. Can listen to the other one. It goes like this one goes like really deep. Or maybe this one, but this one isn't that beautiful. Okay, it's not working. Oh, I probably probably put it onto the wrong way. Yes, I probably put this like saw one up. But why? I don't know. This is probably not correctly installed, but this one isn't working because there's nothing behind it. So, but this was just like when I have it like this, but now I could also get myself a keyboard controller. It's Let's put this thing a little back. So, what is if I get myself a keyboard controller? I have my micro root. But so now I plug it into my micro root and you can hear I have this but this is this is actually I think it's not a C but I can tune it a little bit down okay this is better But this is just the gate, so now I could... Why is this humming so much? I don't know. Like this. Oh, I can do like a between. Oh, like a... 
And I could do like this and put some effects. And So something like this, but I could also do like, I could do like a sync sound, I could, oh, like a, I could do like, maybe, maybe FM this, but. This also sounds very. Uh, I can do some weird sounds with it or sync it. You can clearly hear the difference. So at a later point, I will probably plug this into my audio interface and record something, but not today. So, I think this was a, so I think this was a, I think this was a very good presentation of my VCO. So, I have this PCB, but I actually designed a new one. It is like five times, uh, five by five centimeters. So, and it's, it, does not have the dis uh, the 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 arrow with the mistake with the second op amp. So and you can't find this in the description. But I have like these all these inputs, and if you want them, but you build the one from Look Mama Computer, I will probably make a new schematic from the one with from Look Mama Computer. Look Mama no Computer, and I put this in the description. So. Thank you for watching. Yeah.